Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Hi, it's that time again, and it's good to be back on The Advocate. So allow me to welcome you to a packed hour of exposition and analysis. The rubber hits the road with my advocacy, as I point to the fact that the root cause of our problems stems from a design failure. Ekene goes heart to heart on advocacy and calls for a timeout with her homegirls. Surely we men are not excluded from this cozy tether tether, Ekene, or are we? Sandra stays with the women theme as well and takes us down a historical path in order to bring us up to speed on the importance of the International Women's Day. Chuka, on the other hand, is taking us on the rather hot, if you like, topic this week, which is, as you guessed it, we'll be talking about Emma's dethronement, banishment, and the intrigues behind it all. It reads like a movie script, Abby. He's even called it the Game of Thrones. Bola <laughs> nails it in a manner of speaking as he drives home the real cost of a volatile, global economy in the light of the coronavirus, plummeting oil prices, et cetera, et cetera. Well, we'll be keeping it topical and grilling. Well, kind of. So see you after the break. A better quality of life is often the outcome of deliberate great design. But here we have a design to fail issue. So let me just kind of break it down a little bit. So if you visit Abuja regularly. I mean, you have to go on the Abuja Airport Expressway into town. But this is where I talk about this design problem. It's curious how, when we look at it, how design can really kill us. Poor design, that is. This is perhaps the most important motorway in Nigeria's capital city. Yet this multi-billionaire expressway, as well as the ring roads around the city, features some of the most bizarre and perhaps dangerous ramps, exit lanes, and intersections you ever find in any major motorway anywhere in the world. In fact, I've never seen anywhere else where this, you find this design problem. From the city gate to the airport bypass, I count five dangerous U-turns on the right lane. That's on the expressway, six lane expressway, there are U-turns, which is traditionally the speed lane. So imagine this, you're driving on the speed lane and then suddenly someone's making a U-turn from the other side of the road onto the speed lane. And this is really a, a, a danger waiting to happen and accidents happen there frequently, in fact, almost every day. So. This is the problem. Around the ring road as well, you find ramps and exit lanes that are less than 10 meters at some points, merging into service lanes and vice versa. If there was ever thinking of a design problem, this is where you find it. You find accidents every time. Many years later, despite the fact that the Federal Road Safety Commission, the Ministry of Works the, um, and, and other agencies, no one has ever tried to fix this problem. So the problem remains, the design errors remain as they are. At best, what you find will be Federal Road Safety officers standing stationed at each of those points as if they're trying to, how do I put it, almost um, make uh, the, the design problem um, fix it by just standing there. You can't fix that problem by just standing there. And they can, they're not preventing the accidents because the accidents keep occurring. Well, let me put it this way. And I've been lucky to travel quite a bit. I'm yet to see anywhere where you find on a, on a speed lane or on an expressway where you find U-turns. The proper thing to do is to have flyovers, as we call them here. And the failure of design is expensive, not just in time wasted, accidents that can be avoided, but the lives that may be lost to such manifestly horrible designs. I suppose people will say, you know what, America, you quit ranting. Let's just thank God that we have even more terrible roads, because that's what people will say. Um, but the truth is, which I think we should not fail to call out this big problem. And the fact of the matter is that this design flaws um, not just causes us money, um, loss of lives, but it's really, really a big shame, especially in a city like Abuja. 
So again, we find brand new public buildings that have been constructed without a care for the physically challenged. So you, you have people who walk into buildings, and these are public buildings, and no one thinks about whether the person is, um, has a, a problem and whether how you have access, or when even there's a, there's a tragedy where the, um, the exit doors. So we have a serious problem. And the importance of design lies in solving problems, and we're not solving problems. So for me, this is really my advocacy. And I think it's time we begin to value the importance of design as a measure of the quality of life that we seek. So guys. Mm -hmm. I just, um, uh, go on. That's your, uh, your yeah. guru. Yeah, <laughs> no, I haven't, uh, I haven't been to Abuja for a while, but I know what you're talking about because I, 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 I saw the construction as it was, as yeah. it was coming. Emerging. Or emerging, exactly. And um, yeah, I remember thinking that this must be the most confused, sort of like spaghetti-like thing I've ever seen. Any, I've never seen anything anywhere like mm. that. And so to think that it has been completed, or rather it has gone to a much higher stage of... It's completed. Whatever, it's because, completed. It's uh -huh. completed. No, what, 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 why I didn't say completed was that I'm sure they will come back again and do more things to that road, you know. Um, contract I'm, wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, there's money to be made the more you do. Mm. But um, I, I, I don't know who's designing these things. Yeah. Because if we know we can't design locally, then let's get people who can to do it for us and then we implement it. I don't think there's much shame in that if, if we really cannot design um, roads. Um, uh, like you're saying, the distances you have before you have a merger, yeah. there are all sorts of things I'm that you sure have to that's... consider. Yeah, everything. And the U-turn thing, yes, I, I noticed that when they were building it. And I thought they were there for... Uh, temporary, yeah, thing. Yeah. yes, but it's, but it's there permanently. No, 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 no. I'm even saying because he says if we can't design it, I believe we can. And you know, because the point I wrote down when you said no one thinks, no one thinks, and, and by correlation, no one cares. Yeah. And we're capable of thinking, we're capable of design is just really applying your mind to the practicalities of using that actual mm -hmm. thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, in the past, we've talked about homegrown solutions. Homegrown solutions starts with thinking, not just adopting. Um, ideas from outside right. and applying it indiscriminately. So we can think, we can do it. Um, people have been impressed with the way we've handled the coronavirus in Lagos, particularly because we've had technocrats at the helm. You know, people have yep. been commending both the commissioner for um, health and the man at the, he at the helm of the... the CDC uh, 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 because they're thinking. So what does it take just to get a, a team of people who are actually there to do the work and then you arm yourself with people who have the skill? We have these things. You know, see, Chuka, uh, we do <coughs> have it. I can, uh, uh, the, the, the fact that... Uh, uh, FRIC guys are always at that point. Mm -hmm. Show that someone already noted that there's a problem. Yeah. My, my, my question then yeah. even, what happened to, are you, are you trying to tell me that we don't have experts on ground who are, you know, towing that road, oh, yeah, okay. towing okay. that road on a daily basis and no one seems to have pointed it out until this point. No one is talking about it. No one is saying anything or you know, thinking about the reconstruction. I mean, Look, when you say, you see, when you say mm. we can do it, yes. I disagree. Okay. Let me tell you, it's very simple. I remember first year in architecture course when I was in UCL, and we had a landscape design area uh, elective, and um, they were talking about when you plant things on the median in a double carriage kind of road. Mm. And so sometimes when you're on Kingsway and you want to do a U-turn, you notice that the plants are disturbing yeah, you from you see. seeing who's coming because there are distances you leave you can't plant to the end of the, of the yeah. island or the median, and then there are heights you should even plant to, to be able to allow people to see. Now, where are the experts in Nigeria no, no. who don't know no, no, that no. plants matter? They, 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 they haven't Nigeria, applied their know But you know it, you're in Nigeria. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we, we have, have the expertise. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's something that's made us bring so, them. Because someone said, yeah, exactly. well, someone said on The Advocate that Benin City, we had street lights. In Benin City, yeah. wasn't it? Wasn't all you? Uh, yeah, I said, it, yeah, I said and it. I was like, 16, yeah, 16, yeah, and we had boats. Century, yeah. So we oh, were yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to yeah, say yeah, we yeah, thought once yes, upon a time, but yes. somehow we've now become zombified by maybe oh the the people outside the Western world know better than us. So we just we don't think anymore. So for me, that's the crux of the matter for me. Well, it's not that we can't think. We've chosen not to think. Or I like what Balon said because you find the the the. the police and road safety guys stationed at those U-turns, meaning they know there's a problem. They know there's a problem. Yeah. So why are we not fixing, fixing the, the problem. problem? We can, and I still maintain that we can. Why did we even have it in the first place? Yeah. Exactly. So, so well, we, well, it is here already. <laughs> so, but who can we complain <laughs> to now already. that we're doing this advocacy? Is there nobody we can? Because it's the Federal Ministry of Works. Okay, so if we now you know send what it is. our so, complaints in, mm -hmm. is it likely that we'll get something going What on? it is is basically the flyovers 
are yeah. very expensive. Yeah, to build, yeah. When they looked at the cost of the road with seven flyovers, they thought, we can't do this road. At this point, if we did the seven flyovers. Oh, wow. So they just said, put the U-turns. Oh, wow. How much yeah, is it going to yeah. And that's it. So they're ready to take a risk. Just put the road safety guys there and cut this thing down oh. and let's have a project. So it's a, it's that a money, explains it's a money so the road safety. safety. It, is, it is money. Yes, it is the money. The road safety that's, that's being there, it's sort of like a substitute <laughs> for the flyovers. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so it's like we know you're going to... But then, you know... You know, what is a bit like what um, they're, they're saying in England now where... Uh, just no, sorry to digress, but the corona thing, they, they've accepted that the coronavirus is going to spread. So what they've done is, let's work now on a situation where England yeah, is going great. to be heavily, you know, infected. So what they're doing is they're saying, look, cut the flyovers, we're going to have a problem. No, but then what about <laughs> the cost of human lives? Yes. Yes. yes, yeah. yeah. No, then we, 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 we will put road safety yeah, there. Well, yeah, it's very dangerous okay, for them as well. People are yeah. still you know, dying, right? People die, yeah. Of, so yeah. we need to, at some point, value the life of people <laughs> yeah. more than, and that, that for me is the problem. I think we always put money first. This is where we're, mm. this is where the thinking gets corrupted because if you don't put money as your end result, then hopefully if you put people and service, but first, that's the value is that it's a public service. Yes. It's public mm -hmm. money. Yes. So you do not count it. I mean, this is not an uh, airline planes dropping out of the sky kind mm. of problem. Mm. This is a, something you can fix. You yes. can say With a little more you drive a little bit, you drive another six, eight kilometers. So instead of having seven, yes. let's have three. Correct. So you can drive yes. further and make mm. the turn yeah. and go back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, for, now, now, for, now. Yeah. for now, let's rather than that. having, you know, Five. just... Yeah, I, th yeah. I think you mentioned yeah. something about the disability as well. Yeah. You know the way the way buildings yes. are designed without yes. provision for someone who might be on a wheelchair, wheelchair. And, and, and all of that. Maybe we need certain legislations. I, I think the the American many. Disability we Act um, had a way it impressed it on Americans that you just have to do this, you just have to do this. So. No, nobody goes to pack on a place that is left for and it is an American. We do have we do have a so disability does it, act. Does it, and yes, does it, it, it states yes, yes it says do. that you we cannot do. erect a new building without, without provision. So yeah. I think that the issue we have is enforcement? that this enforcement yes. and is one. Like us and it. the old buildings that have been in existence, existence they yes. have not renovated to include the new, Correct. you know, Correct. the provisions yeah. of the All new have acts. Not been, yeah, yes, that, that's just the problem. Yes. If, if you're talking about policy, the policy is there. Mm. Yes. That says you cannot erect so, so, a new so building. So someone has to do an audit of the, 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 oh. the how, um, how should I put it, um, how those buildings meet the they're new criteria. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes. 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 I mean, even purpose. going back yes. to the, uh, I don't know how much time we have on this, but even going back to the issue of money being the prerequisite, you know, the, the reason we do things and why it corrupts the way we do mm. things. I know recently that it was in the news that they're asking the SARS officials to up there what they, the money they bring in. Mm. So, and, and they know that by, by, you know, by imports, these people are now going to go on the roads and be harassing, harassing us more. People to, to so they don't there. care, but just bring yeah. the money in. I'm, I'm like, you know, can't you see that you shouldn't be giving them a, a kind of benchmark of money to be brought in anyway well so here we are you know what they say you get what you plan for after the break i can ask making plans for some she me time is she being sexist well let's find out after the break five panelists five topical issues no holds barred for me it's not knowledge that's lacking it's that greed it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.